What's happening, Star Wars fans? I am Dial here with a trailer review. The official trailer has released for Skeleton Crew, the new Star Wars series coming on Disney Plus in December. That's actually being helmed by John Watts, uh, the director of the three Spider-Man films in the MCU with Tom Holland. Um, so, yeah, I already know. I already know that Star Wars is in a really rocky place right now uh the fandom is being split in many different ways um there are some people that enjoy the disney era of star wars and there are some people that aren't enjoying the disney era of star wars me i am in the middle there are some things in uh disney star wars that i personally really enjoy uh but there is an equal amount of things that i am very mixed on or i'm not a big fan of um what I will say, though, that there is enough good stuff in Disney Star Wars where I am not completely tuned out like a lot of people are. And I'm sure people are think that I'm just like a, you know, I'm, I'm just a mindless fan for Disney or I'm like I'm a pander or whatever or whatever. I don't know what real Star Wars is. OK, y'all can say what you want. I really don't care what you have to say. I really don't. Because I've been watching Star Wars since I was a little kid. I've seen everything from the original trilogy to the prequels to, to now the sequels. I've seen everything. I, I know a lot about the lore. So please don't, don't be coming at me claiming that I don't know anything about Star Wars because that is not true. Now, whether whatever you dislike from Star Wars, whatever you don't like from Star Wars, that's your prerogative. That's your thing. You know, if you're going to get upset that I like The Rise of Skywalker, I think you really need to question what really, what you really have put in priorities with your life. You know, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. So, yeah, when it came to Skeleton Crew, I will, I will be honest that, you know, when it came to this, like, I'm, I am still going to watch it, but, you know, it wasn't really something that was on my radar as much as stuff like The Acolyte or The Mandalorian or, you know, Star Wars Visions, for example. I was going to see it. But, you know, didn't drive my interest as much as the other stuff. Um, it seemed like it was going to be more of like a kid's story. Um, and Jude Law is going to be in this as well. So I am looking forward to seeing how Jude Law is in the Star Wars universe. But, you know, it didn't really like, you know, bring me in as much as the other stuff. Um, I am a fan of John Watts. I liked what he did with the Spider-Man movies. So I'm actually excited to see what he was going to do with a Star Wars property. Um, and from what I've heard with, with them making this show, um, they said it was going to be heavily influenced uh, from Steven Spielberg and uh, Amblin Entertainment and stuff like that, which, okay, I'm definitely for that. You know, I love me some Spielberg vibes when it comes to shows. Um, and one of the things that I've said um, before a while ago is that I thought it was one of the biggest missed opportunities that Steven Spielberg was not able to direct a Star Wars movie, especially because Steven Spielberg and George Lucas were so close and they worked on so many things together. It just shocks me that Steven Spielberg, you know, didn't direct one of George Lucas' Star Wars films or something like that, or he they didn't ask him to come in with the Disney era stuff, you know? So it's like, you know, if, if you're trying to get some Spielberg influences in here, I'm totally for that. And after watching this trailer, I definitely see this. I, I definitely feel the Spielberg influences in here. Like, this feels like if Steven Spielberg directed a Star Wars property. It feels a lot like uh, the Goonies. It feels uh, has a little bit of E.T. in there. Um, they're following these four kids. Um, and they go on this adventure with this, which looks to be a stowaway Jedi played by Jude Law. Um, I'm I'm just really liking the vibe. What, what what I really like about this is like it feels like it's going to be a simple story because with the previous shows, it feels like they were trying to be too complicated with the story. It's always about you know the Sith and the, Je the Jedi, the complicated stuff with the lore, with the Force and stuff like that. And so you know, it's actually not, not like I'm not against you know Sith and Jedi stories. Obviously, I always love seeing that stuff, but I like that we're once again getting back to the simple storytelling that doesn't necessarily have to have the grander s stuff with the with the force and the, you know the you know the, the you know the dark side light side stuff like that like it feels like it's you know trying to be kind of a simpler story like it was with the mandalorian and stuff like that so 
I definitely feel that. And like I said, the, the Goonies, Spielberg, Amblin vibes here, I liked it a lot. It is taking me, it, it is, it was a bit interesting to see like modern, like a modern futuristic neighborhood in the Star Wars universe. That did take me, that did take me uh, for a loop a little bit. That, you know, they go to like a modern looking school and they have modern looking neighborhoods and stuff like that. And it all still looks, has that futuristic Star Wars vibe, but. This was the most modern I've seen Star Wars since the prequels. Like, remember when there was a diner in Attack of the Clones and stuff like that? Like, it's giving that type of vibes, too. And, like, they're in, like, a regular classroom. So, I don't know. That's that's very that's very interesting. And, like, they have, like, modern-looking hover cars and stuff like that and bikes. Which I don't think is a bad thing. Like, I like that, it, like, we're having different, different aesthetics in Star Wars. I know probably people are thinking that it feels too much too much like an earthly type of thing, which I definitely understand that. But I don't know. Like, it just, it's very interesting. It, it feels different, you know, in a good way. Um, and, you know, we only get one shot of Jude Law, and they are revealing that he's some sort of Jedi or Force user. So I like that, you know, we've got a little tease of that. We don't even know if, like, he's a full-on Jedi or he's just a just a force user or whatever is, is he actually does he still have a lightsaber does he still part of the jedi order or did he run away or something like that so that's pretty cool but yeah just seeing these four kids and the, and the jedi on this uh space adventure like i'm definitely digging it i like i like the simplicity of it though it still looks grand in scale my one concern though because this has been a concern for the majority of the star wars films because this feels like this should be a movie you know like and this is a series like I, I don't know if it's gonna be eight episodes again or something like that but this is a similar feeling that i had watching uh the acolyte not too long ago that it feels like a movie but it's stretched out into eight episodes so i'm hoping that i'm hoping that with the skeleton crew i'm hoping that the pacing will be better I don't know if I get my hopes up for that because they've been doing the same thing as far as structure. But like, it just feels like this should be a movie, like just from this trailer alone, you know? So however the pacing is for the show, like I'm hoping that it'll get back to like, you know, the good pacing of like the Mandalorian and stuff like that. And for people that like Andor, for example, like they like the pacing of that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Like, I am looking forward to seeing this. Like, once again, I do I have high expectations for this? No, because... You know, I thought the Acolyte, which I wa watched too long, not too long ago, was kind of mid. Um, and as far as the other, pro you know, shows from Star Wars, they've been kind of mid to trash, some of them. So there's been some really good ones, like, you know, like, uh, like I said, the Star Wars Visions, uh, the Bad Batch has been getting better, um, you know, Tales of, the Je Tales of the Jedi, stuff like that. So there's been some good stuff here and there but you know it just hasn't been consistent as far as the quality wise with the shows um but i'm hoping this will turn it around because this looks really good to me um but those are my thoughts on skeleton crew what do you guys think about it do you like the the spielbergy goony vibes that they have here you like how the story is um do you like that it's has some sort of like futuristic modern aesthetic to it uh, do you like the inclusion of Jude Law's uh, mystery Jedi slash Force user? Do you like that we're following these four kids? Uh, how do you guys feel about Disney Star Wars today? Like, are you liking the shows? Are you liking what they're doing so far? Or are you really mixed on it? Or you just haven't liked any of them at all? Uh, let's have a civil discussion in the comments if you have any thoughts about any of that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below.